Instamorph, and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video today. I wanna share with you a couple things that I made using Instamorph that are really cool, and uh, some of the best ways that I've found to, to make stuff with Instamorph. So let's get into it and stay tuned. First of all, if you don't know what Instamorph is, what it is is essentially little plastic beads that are thermoplastic, which means that they melt in high temperature. So that could definitely be bad depending on the application that you want to use these for. But they get they melt and they will glob together into one cohesive piece of plastic, and then they become pliable and moldable, and you can use them to make just about anything you want to. And it's pretty cool because you don't really need any special tools. It's really kind of like working with clay. And I think the reason why you might be interested in this actually is if, like me, you really want a 3D printer but you just don't have one yet, this is kind of cool because you can make custom parts and custom things that you know, obviously they're not gonna be as precise as a 3D printed object, but they will get the job done and you can kind of make custom things. In fact, in some cases, this is actually better than a 3D printed uh, item because maybe the thing that you want to make is just so complicated that you, it would, you'd have a hard time printing it. So let's get into a couple things that I made, a couple um, big thing or things that, that were uh, really, I realized they were a huge deal. This is uh, a cover that I made for my radio. This is a Flysky FSI 6X. Great radio, great budget radio. And for the longest time, I did not have a cover for the gimbals. And so, let me take off the cover here. And so you have these sticks here, the gimbals, and they, you know, you put it in a bag or you, you, you know, you, you try and put something on top of it and you just cringe every time because, you know, the, the, the sticks are getting, you know, moved around and it's not good for them. The switches are getting all switched around. You don't want to, you know, be bashing this stuff around because it, you know, it can get loose and, and get damaged. Um, so <clears throat> I made this little cover here and it just pops right on, you center up the sticks, pop it right in place and it covers everything. And now you can stack stuff on it. You can um, put it in, you know, put it right in a bag and it, you don't need like an extra case for your radio. It is fantastic. So I'm telling you that is, it, that is great. We'll get into how I made this in just a second. The other thing that was really cool is, uh, is a is GoPro mount that I made. And this one uh, I made to actually just clip onto this quadcopter, which it's uh, it's great for transporting, um, transportation, because that way you don't have a GoPro on the top of your quadcopter. But in a hard crash, it can kind of just fly off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna redesign this one for sure. Um, but uh, it worked out very well. And prior to this, I really did not have a GoPro mount at all. I was just kind of making do with. Uh, you know, just like a foam wedge and like strapping the GoPro on and stuff. It just wasn't very good. But then once I got this baby, oh man, my whole world opened up. It was crazy. In fact, this is what I used to, uh, when I filmed, uh, the, the flight, uh, video that I have a couple, several videos back better now. Um, and I'll put a link to that. Is it this side or that side? I get, I think it's this side. No, no, it's this side. So link to that. Now, uh, what's cool about this stuff? Well, first let's just talk about actually how to, how to work with this stuff. They suggest um, putting the stuff in hot water and then you know letting it set and then it will get clear after a few minutes and then you can um, you know mold it and it's pliable. And then it, it does take a while to set. So that is one thing. It takes a while to cool off and actually get as hard as it's gonna get. So um, be sure you give it ample time to cool. Um, but it is actually quite, quite strong when it is cooled off. Even very thin, very thin uh, pieces like this, this mount actually. Let's see if you can kind of see it there. This mount is quite thin. You can squish it, but it will come right back. And it's actually it's really very durable for how thick this stuff is. But uh, when it's in, when it's hot and it's pliable, it seems really thin. And, you know, it'll be pretty much transparent. So... <clears throat> just uh, something to keep in mind there. But what I've found is that there are two better or two best ways of, of working with this stuff. Now, aside from the hot water, I'd probably use the hot water, you know, to, to get my major, like to, to melt the little beads together. But then what I found works really well to work with this stuff is a blow dryer. Um, and so you just get a blow dryer and turn it on high. And that's how I made this guy. Cause what I did is I got, 
you know, put all these beads together in the hot water. I squished them all flat and stretched them out to cover this, uh, to cover this whole, you know, section on the radio. But the thing is, by the time you stretch it out, it's it's our, it's not hot enough to actually form like this, the, the way it does on here, to, to really form around things and, and get like a nice fit. So what I did is I laid it flat and then I just uh, used the blow dryer to warm up the the plastic, the Instamorph, and then it just it would just melt on its own, kind of melt into place on the radio, which is um, pretty uh, great. You just got to make sure that you don't overheat your radio, so be careful about that. But that is a really great way of working with it. So just hot air, but you don't want to use like a hot air gun because that's probably going to be way too hot. So just a blow dryer, I think, would work really well. And then for the GoPro mount, what I did is it what I what seems to work pretty well uh, is actually m forming the the ring that goes around the GoPro, the part that holds onto the GoPro, and then forming the mount separately. And then what I actually do, and I don't know if this is really probably not this is probably not manufacturer recommended, but what I do is I get a lighter, and then I actually use the lighter to heat up the specific part, like the the bottom of the of the little ring that's around the GoPro and the the top of the mount where I'm going to mount it and actually melt those two together. So I'll heat them up and then fuse them together. And that is quite durable, uh, very, really for what it is, very strong. So uh, again, um, <clears throat> this one has seen quite a few crashes, so I'm gonna have to um, redo this one. Another one, which, well, let's see, I got both parts here. So this is another one that I made for this uh, GoPro. And as you can see, this was the mount that it was mounted on. It was mounted on the Budget Basher quad. And this was the part that went around the GoPro. And it just ripped right off because I crashed really hard into a roof. And <clears throat> so that didn't work out super great. So you can see, you know, I didn't have too much contact there as far as the melted part. So I should have, you know, could have designed this a little bit better. So next time I'm going to go back make sure I have a lot more melted adhesion to the base plate and to the GoPro side. But um, it, it was a bad crash, let me tell you. So, But for the most part, uh, this thing was uh, very sturdy. So what's cool though, is that once you, you know, say this breaks, you know, I, I've got these, you know, these GoPro mounts that I wanna redo. All I have to do is toss them back into hot water and then let them melt and then the, I can just squish them all back together and just reuse the same plastic stuff. So that's actually, that's pretty cool. So those are a couple things that I wanted to share with you and uh, just kind of let you know about Instamorph in case you never heard of it. Um, it's actually, it's pretty cheap. It's about uh, $10, I think, for a six ounce bag. And so far that six ounce bag has lasted quite a while. So uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description below to uh, on Amazon. And, you know, uh, holidays are coming up and that would probably make a pretty good gift for a, a maker DIY quadcopter kind of person. So keep that in mind. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about me, although that would be a good gift. I mean, I would absolutely accept that if you wanted to. Anyway, so uh, yeah, there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, also, it, so leave, leave, me, leave me, leave it in the comments. Leave, leave me a comment on anything else, that any questions that you had about this and also any other cool stuff that you have made using Instamorph uh, for your RC needs. So thanks for watching. Uh, consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. If you have, thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate your support. And when you give me those thumbs ups and uh, let me, lets me know, you know, that, uh, that I'm, I'm doing something, I guess in my videos to help you because <laughs> cause that's you know that's the whole point of this channel make it make it keep it fun and helpful and uh so if there's anything else that you need some fun help with leave that in the comments below in any case until then or until or if if that regardless see you next time thanks for watching i'll see you next time